Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Food, Drinks, and Rock and Roll. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy, and today it's a little cold. This is kind of cold time of the year. I want to do something hearty, something nice and warm, and something easy. So we're going to do a wicked beef stew. We're going to use some fresh vegetables, some rosemary and thyme, some garlic, onions, and potatoes, and stuff like that. But the cool part is the broth is going to be almost entirely made of Guinness. Check that out. It's going to be delicious, hearty, and bold. Alright, the first thing we want to do is we want to caramelize our stew meat. So we have a nice big pot, touch of olive oil, over like a medium high heat, we're going to add our beef right to the pan up here. You gotta love that sound. Nice sizzle sound. So we're going to let this outside caramelize just a little bit. We're going to add a touch of salt and pepper to this, right over the top, and let this caramelize just a little bit on the outsides. All right, let's go ahead and get to our vegetables. So our meat's caramelizing, a little bit of time to go with this. You probably notice I left the skin on. I really like the flavor of the skin. It has a lot of nutrients. Just give them a good wash, go ahead and use them. Right now we're doing an oblique cut. For all you food nuts out there, it's actually a three-sided cut. This is perfection. You got one, two, and three. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go with our carrots. I'm gonna go with some celery. I also love the leaves in there. People get rid of them, there's so much flavor. So go ahead and keep it. Nice rough chop. We also have some white onion. Same thing. Nice rough chop. Another bowl. And last but not least, we got a potato. All right, so let's get back over to our beef over here. So if you get them real close, see all this beautiful brown fond at the bottom. We're gonna deglaze with one of my favorites. You know what I'm grabbing, the Jack Daniels. So we're gonna go right over the top. You notice it starts to boil right away. That's a good thing. We want that Jack Daniels to reduce. You see how it's starting to pick up all those brown goodies at the bottom? The liquid releases that protein from the bottom and adds more flavor to the meat. All right, let's go with our vegetables. Take all of our uh, onions, our carrots, and our celery. Go right over the top. And before we add our liquid, we're going to go ahead and add our herbs as well. I've got a bunch of rosemary, a bunch of fresh thyme. Really, really great. Mm, you can smell the aroma so, so bold. So throw those in too. And don't be afraid. We want to have a good herby flavor to kind of go with the, the Guinness. So let this caramelize. Stir that in. Let this caramelize just a little bit with that beef. All right, some of our vegetables are starting to caramelize. We're going to add a little bit of garlic, chopped garlic. You don't want to add this too soon because sometimes it'll burn before the other vegetables are finished. I'm just going to go with, um, let's say like a tablespoon or so, maybe a tablespoon and a half. Oh, the garlic. Give that a good stir. Let this caramelize just for another couple of minutes. I wish you could smell those uh, herbs are starting, the aroma is starting to get really, really bright. You start to see the caramelization on the bottom from the onions and the other vegetables. Getting nice and brown. Really good. All right, so now it's time for the broth. Our vegetables have had a chance to caramelize, our meat has had a chance to caramelize, those herbs are getting really, really nice and aromatic. We're gonna go with our Guinness. Check it out, come here. If you've never seen these uh, draft cans, listen, as soon as you hear it crack, you hear that? That's the CO2 breaking, so it becomes like a draft. Super cool, super cool. Go right over the top. Excellent. Two should be good. All right, now we're gonna add half the amount of those two beers with uh, beef stock. So we go, let's probably say uh, two or three cups of beef stock. Excellent. All right, so once you've added all your liquid, you're gonna add your potatoes. It's gonna start to cook in the liquid. And the starch from the potatoes is actually gonna thicken the stew. So you have this nice, hearty, hearty stew. Give this a nice stir. Get all that flavor off the bottom. And we're gonna let this stew for about 35, 45 minutes. You want to let it go for a while. So keep it on a medium low heat. We're going to turn the heat down just a little bit. Like a medium low heat and let this simmer. You know, even if you want to go like an hour, that would be cool too. You want all those flavors to start to bind together. Let's do a little drink in the middle of this. What do you think? Let's go with uh, some Dr. Pepper, a bit of ice. We're going to make one of my favorite drinks. We're going to make the doctor feel good in this cup. Let's get some ice. 
a little Dr. Pepper. Let's top that off with a little bit of the uh, Jack Daniels, you know what I'm talking about? There you go, that's how you make the doctor feel good. Cheers. All right, so we've been simmering for about 45 minutes. The potatoes look nice and soft and starting to reduce just a little bit. You can see on the edges of the pan where the liquid started and how it reduces down just a little bit. You get that nice, thick, uh, stewy consistency because it's stew. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so we're going to go with our ladle right into our bowl. That meat is nice and tender. You can see those herbs fell off the stems, and they're beautiful right on the inside of the stew like that. Some beautiful potatoes and carrots. And to finish this off, you can have some nice ciabatta or focaccia. I have some really nice French bread. Do a nice little rip right on the sides. And you have your nice, hearty, delicious beef stew with uh, your Dr. Feelgood. I'm Chef Nathan Lippy. Thank you guys for hanging out here at the Food, Drinks, and Rock and Roll Kitchen. Until next time. the camera in the fridge. Sounds like a rap song.